Hey, this is Don Johnson at Airbrush Gallery with another little addition of my of my video series on airbrushing and custom painting. Today I'm working on a hood mural on a Jeep. It's a Joker. I thought I'd take a couple of seconds just to explain to you uh, folks that are new to airbrushing, custom painting, uh, how you go might want to go about doing a hood mural. This is transfer tape or application tape. You can get this at signwarehouse.com or any vinyl sign supply place. What I've done is just put it on here so there's no air bubbles. Overlaps a little. I'll just cut that with a razor blade so that make it easier. Then I've drawn my image. If you're not real proficient at drawing, uh, Using a projector isn't cheating, I don't think, because it's turning the flat image, just a rough sketch, into a 3D painting that's the real trick. So if you're not real proficient at drawing, you can always use a projector. It's used by some of the best artists in the world. I wouldn't worry about it. It helps you uh, speed up your work. And if you do this professionally, time is money, as they say. So anyways, I've got this started. What I do now is just refine my drawing as I'm going along using a good reference. Cut it out very carefully with a hobby knife, number 11 blade, changing the blade all the time, not applying any pressure when I cut it, letting the blade do the work. I've sort of got his face roughed in, and now I'm working on the shirt and the tie. And you could freehand this um, and practice your brush control, keeping the blue out of his face. But again, if you do this professionally and it's a way of making your living, there's a product called Stretch Mask by Art Tool. It's solvent proof, it's uh, low tack. You can get it at any uh, airbrush supply website. It's called Stretch Mask by Art Tool. And as you can see, I've applied it over his face already. And now I'm going to finish the rest of his shirt. And again, this is just real rough. At this point, when I get it all roughed in, I'll pull all the masking off. And finish it because I want it to have soft edges. I don't want it to be all hard edges like it was masked. But this gives us a general view of what we need. This is just a little black. On his collar. And that's my compressor. I'll leave that like that is for now. We'll pull the rest off here. And all I did to this hood to prep it was scuff it and clean it. Nothing really special. Now we're going to use a stretch mask to protect his tie. His face is already protected. If you haven't seen any of my videos before, you know I'm all about into just giving you the basics and letting you create your own style and technique from that. That's why they call it art. It should be your style, your technique, not mine or anyone else's. So if you know the basics of airbrushing, you certainly can create your own style and technique. And that's my whole goal with this series of videos for the last 15 years. It's been giving you the basics, showing you that anybody can do this. 
if you put your mind to it, it's really what you want to do, nothing should stop you. That's how easy the stretch mass cuts. And now we have this tie is now protected. You take a little glue. Shirt color. Little shadow color. We want this collar to stand forward in the painting, away from the shirt. The collar is going to be, of course, left lighter. I urge you to study light and cool colors and color theory for a better understanding of that. That's pretty good for now. Now I'll just work my way down the painting. We'll do his vest and his suit jacket next. But that's how I go about it. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. Once you have your drawing down and your proportions are all correct, it's just a matter of laying out a rough sketch, cutting it out, applying basic colors, pulling all your masking, finishing the painting. To me, you don't want to finish one area of a, a big painting like this. You want to rough it in, get some colors approximately where they should be all the way through the painting. Because when you apply color here, and then you apply color here, it's going to change the way this appears. So you want to bring the, the painting together all at one time. And having all the colors in place helps you do that. I hope you found this little video helpful. It's Art Tool Stretch Mask. You can get it any airbrush supply place, online or amazon.com. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. I hope you found this little video helpful. This is Don Johnson, Airbrush Gallery. It's just paint, relax, and have fun. Until next time, thank you.